Hey guys, so this is gonna be a longer talk through video. So I am doing my client Jordan's hair and we are gonna be doing a full hair care detox. We are going to do uh, moisture and repair treatment. And then we are going to blow dry and trim her dead end. So she just took down her knotless braids that was done by Martika Braybar, myself, yes. And she wore those for, I believe, about a month or so. And she um, had a full swim routine. She's a lifeguard, so she had a full swim routine and she protected it. And now what we're doing is um, after the braids, we want to take care and uh, revive the hair. So I went ahead, I shampooed her hair with a Nairobi detoxifying shampoo. Now I am putting on a clay mask. So as I mentioned before, Jordan loves to swim. And if you know swimming in chlorine, you know it is hard water and it creates a lot of buildup on the hair. There is deposits of mineral deposits, salts or ions, whatever you wanna call it. So calcium, chlorine, etc. Those are things that are ions. And um, I use the bentonite clay mask. And this is really good with just really removing and extracting all buildup. And it really strips the hair in a natural form um, to get rid of any buildup on the surface of the hair. Now there is gelatin shampoos that are designed for hard water aside from using a home water system which can rack you up a few um, dollars or even um, using something like a filter that can help to soften the water. Um, there are other options like again a gelatin shampoo for hard water so any minerals that are hard, um, any minerals that are deposited on the hair and it blocks the hair from keeping in moisture and absorbing other products. So I am going to recommend a shampoo brand uh, Ion that is designed for swimmers and it will remove any buildup when she swims. So now after I rinsed out that bentonite clay mask, I am going ahead and I'm adding a deep treatment. It's a deep repair and moisturizing treatment. She has a lot of damaged ends a lot of um split ends and she has some dead hair so some shedding from the braid so we do shed every um every day and while your braids are in that shedded hair is trapped so now it's just uh taking me some time to detangle while the treatment is on this is excellent because it gives a great slip and um, there are some really good um, ingredients in this deep moisture, moisturizing and repair treatment. And it's gonna help to restore the hair's moisture. It's going to help with luster and shine. It's gonna help with hydration. I put her under the dryer for about, with a cap for about 20 minutes, then we rinse. I am now blow drying her hair. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to blow dry with my comb, um, um, what do we call this? Comb attachment or a nozzle, um, but a comb attachment. And I'm just going to run through her hair with the comb attachment. I did put her under the dryer for about five minutes just to get as much from the of moisture from absorbing from the overhead diffuser. But um, I am gonna go over with the comb attachment and then I'm going to use, I believe it's a nozzle, the other one, it just slipped my mind right now as I'm doing this video, but then I'm gonna run through it with the, um, the other um, nozzle attachment and I'm gonna use a brush and really go through the roots to get the roots nice and dry. So I want, sometimes when we blow dry, it doesn't get to the scalp. And so sometimes the roots are still slightly wet, especially if you don't take your time and do it thorough. So I'm just making sure I'm getting through everything nice and thorough because I want to stretch her hair so that we can remove the dead ends and maintain evenness with her hair. So this is where you're going to see me sectioning it row by row. I'm running through it with my brush and I believe it's a nozzle. I just can't remember the name, the specific name at this time. But this attachment is going to help me direct 
directly uh, transfer the heat to the roots of her hair and I am going to be able to dry as close to the scalp as possible. Um, and then I am going to go ahead once everything is nicely stretched and even that's where I can remove those dead ends properly um, without taking away any length just removing the actual dead ends of her hair. So this is just a clip that I put up of uh, how her hair was sectioned to go under the dryer. This is the natural length of her hair and um, those dead ends and unevenness that you see is split hair and pretty much we want to remove all those dead ends from her hair. And we wanted it to stay even. I would recommend try, uh, continuing um, with, so for her, I recommend it every two months, um, just so that we can maintain evenness. But most generally, especially when it comes to textured kinky hair, on average, three months is good to get a trip, uh, a trip, to get a trim between three to four months is excellent timing to get a, your, your hair trimmed. Um, you don't wanna be scissor happy and keep trimming your hair, but whenever, your hair especially because of her lifestyle she's in the chlorine she doesn't always wear a slim cap i believe she started since we did the braids um so we have a lot of like um split ends there's a lot of dryness there's a lot of um not too much breakage but a lot of dryness and if it continues to split up the up the shaft then she'll get more breakage so we want to combat that by getting a routine going with uh moisturizing treatments uh every two months and then trimming the ends to make sure that we have nice um healthy hair and our ends are maintained after this um i did apply a sealant to the ends of her hair and now we're just going to finish off by putting her hair up in a ponytail because i love my ponytails i love my buns and i just think it looks neat and she agreed to it she was um ready to get it done we did it nice and snug nice and firm and i just applied a little bit of um braiding product which holds like an edge control and i smooth and sleek down the sides i sprayed her down and these are the end results guys i did a little video you're gonna see here this is what we have nice clean shiny healthy hair and i did oil her scalp so it's nice and stimulating and um, minty feeling so i know she feels completely brand new with this style